Rob Wikes and I'm a postdoc in the Department of uh, Clinical and Experimental Epilepsy at the Institute of Neurology, uh, University College London, and I've been here for nearly two years now. Yeah, so we, we do several things um, and we're involved in manipulating um, ion channels in neurons and one of the ways in which we do this is to um, either overexpress an ion channel or to knock down the ion channel using shRNAs and um, we then make um, a brain slice electrophysiological recordings but to be able to identify the neurons which are either overexpressing that ion channel or knocking down that ion channel we have a fluorescent tag um, which is expressed in those neurons so I need to be have a way basically of being able to identify which neurons in a slice um, are the ones that are overexpressing the ion channel and they would be the ones that have this fluorescent tag therefore I need to identify the green cells in a slice yeah. So the, the good thing about patch vision is, is that you don't need um, expensive cameras or, um, or, or an ex uh, expensive illumination source. Um, you can um, basically filter the, the images that you get to, to identify um, green neurons in a slice. And the, the, the way in which I do this is uh, I scan the slice, I find where a green cell is, I check under DIC that it looks fine and healthy and then um, I go in and patch that neuron. Um, at the same time with my intracellular pet I have a red dye and at the end of the experiment I can then look at uh, the green fluorescence which is, is the, the tag of the protein versus the red fluorescence which would be the neuron that I've patched and if they overlay that's a confirmation that I've patched the cell that I'm, I was targeting. It's, it's very user friendly, um, I, I've been using it for just over a year and um, I'm very happy with it.